Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, this is Judy, and welcome back to our channel. Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, and I am back, back, back again, finally, I'm here. Finally, I made it. I made it back uh, after a very long week of having COVID, which wouldn't recommend, uh, zero out of ten, do not recommend. <laughs> to anybody, but I did in fact have it, and flashback to last week on Monday when I filmed a video and I said, oh, it's just allergies. I took a rapid test, it was negative. And I think my body was just like, what are we doing outside, Zach? Let's let's flare up all your allergies. Let's get all the, the body parts related to that producing some mucus so I'm a little congested I did take a COVID rapid test it's not COVID uh, the next day I've tested positive for COVID if you didn't see my community post or various social media posts that's what happened that's where I've been I feel for all intents and purposes much better I actually started feeling better really like Wednesday of last week, but I just was like, listen, you're going to take this time. Your body is saying, slow down, chill out. And so here we are. And now I'm back. I do have also both dogs in the room with me. Poe's being particularly whiny today, and I probably shouldn't give in to him and let him be here with me, but it's what we're doing. So there's a lot to cover in this video, so I will be putting timestamps, um, one where I recap the two videos that we're not going to react to, because while I was gone, I think Amberlynn posted three videos that we need to like, well, two that we're going to go over and one we're going to react to today, right now, together. And then I'll, I'll obviously also put where the reaction starts. I didn't want to not give a recap of those videos because there is some stuff that happens that is only important in the context of Amberlynn and the the plot, if you will, if there is a plot, but just some, some updates that I feel are important to us being able to watch this video together today where she's eating. It's another what I eat in a day situation type of deal. There's Chick-fil-A in the thumbnail. We can talk about that later. So let me give you a quick recap. So the, the first video that I didn't get a chance to watch with you all was called Sushi and Getting Rid of My Horn, which to be honest with you all, I was excited about watching because y'all know I love hoarders. I love Amberlynn buying useless shit she doesn't need. I love watching Dollar Tree haul people buy useless shit they don't need. You want to see an episode of Hoarders. I want to see, I want to see the, the Hoarders team, Dr. Robin Zassio and all go in and check out some of these Dollar Tree people, but that's neither here nor there. I was very excited to watch this Horde video and obviously we didn't get to do it together. So here is what you need to know. All right, here are the most exciting points I pulled out. One, she got some sushi. Half of it was fried, like literally fried. When you could pick so many other options, she got a fried one. And she was so weird and quirky, she didn't know what it meant when her phone said that a robocaller was calling. Someone weird just called me. It said robocaller, what's that? She wanted to know if we noticed that she rearranged her office. And no, bestie, we didn't notice because all you've been showing us for the past two months is torrid halls and fucking scratch art. But in terms of the plot, it is important to know that we have started on the second bag of torrid clothing. So we should plan to be finished up with that bag by, I don't know, Halloween, maybe, hopefully. And she does, in fact, try to get rid of her hoard. I love getting rid of clothing. Oh, you guys are facing my toilet. But she really just likes getting rid of it because she wants to buy more shit to replace it with. And then she also has this moment where she decides that she's not going to get rid of a dress, but it's because she couldn't fit in it previously. And this is the first time she's actually truly genuinely trying it on. Which leads me to wonder how much shit she has bought that she just has never fit into and has never tried on and thus just sits 
in her home. Her home, if you will. But yeah, that was about it for that video. It was, I don't know, maybe not super exciting, but I'm also sure if I would have reacted to it, we could have found ways to make it entertaining, you know what I'm saying? And then the other video is really the plot point that matters. It's called "What Eating What I Want and Counting Calories. In this video, she, for the first time in recent history, lets us know that she is aware that the timeline is off and she took a whole week off from filming, which, spoiler alert, is not gonna make up for anything because she was like literally a month behind, but neither here nor there. She takes a whole week off to say, I'm just trying to get my, my videos caught up to being more accurate in real life, which I find to be interesting in general because for all intents and purposes, the timeline doesn't really truly matter. It only matters when like she says she's doing something and she's not. And there's been a few times you've seen me react where I'm like, I don't care if it, this is yesterday, today, tomorrow, whoever, whatever. And there's a couple times where I'm like, Listen, if this was a month ago, it does matter because this is stupid. You know, you feel me? But also in this video, she lets us know that she's starting a new daily vlogging challenge, a 10 day vlogging challenge, which in all honesty, 10 days feels more reasonable than her usual 100. And she's also going to be weighing in every single one of those days and showing what she eats every single one of those days. So I don't know if she's really gonna follow through with that, it's hard to say. And at this point, she already either did or didn't do it because as I want to point out to you, she took a whole week off to catch up on her videos, but now she's filming every day for 10 days, but we're only gonna get one day in every video and she's still only posting videos every other day. So we're not really gonna catch up with anything. We're just gonna continue being behind because that's how time works. So I don't know how the, the 10 days of daily vlogging really matters when we're still gonna be way the far fuck behind, but I'm here for it. The video I watched about eating what I want and counting calories, the one where she announced that she was doing this, was far more interesting than most of these videos. I mean, granted, both of them still had torn and both of them still had scratch art, but they were both more interesting, I guess. There are also just some like, what the fuck moments, like she stores her leftovers in the microwave. I only ate half of one. I'm just like, I don't know. I don't think I'm hungry right now. So I am just going to put it in the microwave. Does anyone else do that? They put their uh, leftovers in the microwave for a couple hours until you want to eat it again. And she also lets us know that she still watches Chantal for whatever the fuck reason she wants to admit to that. And she also lets us know that she didn't shower and she's still sleeping in her makeup. And that is truly what you missed on Glee. So the video we're gonna react to today is called Fast Food and Takeout, What I Ate Today, Episode Two. And I do wanna say that I think a little bit the what I eat in a days are partially because a few episodes ago, a few videos ago on my channel, I said, I truly genuinely miss a what I eat in a day. And some people were like, why Why would you care, Zach? She's gonna lie anyways. And it's not because I care if she's lying about what she is or is not eating in a day. It's just because I needed change. And so if we get 10 videos in a row of what I eat in a days, like let's get two, let's get two. Let, show me Amber Lynn cooking some food. Give me a recipe I can remake. Like, come on, let's do it. So yeah, so that's what we're gonna do today. Today. I'm I'm ready to go if you are so truly 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 let's get to let's get to hello welcome Hi. to day two of ten of what I ate today great so I just can't wait the shower um oh she finally took a shower okay she said like 12 times in her last I know I already covered this in the recap but in case you didn't watch that she said in the last video that she sh didn't shower like 12 times which felt very weird for shower Lynn and her shower Lynn YouTube channel so I'm glad she has assured us now that she has showered um I feel like there needs to be one of those Twitter accounts that's like did Amber Lynn Reed shower today not because it's like I want to be rude. I don't care if she showers or doesn't shower. I mean, like, 
for the people around her, I hope she does, but like, <laughs> just how much we bring it up in every single video at this point, we need a Twitter account. We need the Twitter account that says, did Amberlynn Reed shower today? You know how it's like, there's there's those accounts for like, is, is so-and-so still alive today? And then it's like, just one tweet every day that's like, yes, they're still alive. We need that for if Amberlynn Reed showered. Did I make my point clear? I feel like I overly explained that for sure. I have not weighed myself yet. All right. I will do that in a minute. I just feel kind of okay. like rushy, rushy because we are going to a friend's house and are whatever. You, Eric and Ricky's? Because those are the only friends you really mentioned these days. And I can't imagine you've made any new friends from Wifey, who is not originally from Kentucky. I eat um, at, like, a friend's house who doesn't want to be, like, filmed if they don't want their home on YouTube or whatever. Like, I'm simply just going to take a photo and then okay. do a voiceover and still show you guys. Okay, work. That is the goal here. So I'm actually about to do my makeup. Also, though, that hasn't stopped you in the past. I do just want to say, but, <laughs> but work. Yeah, that's fine. And I didn't need the explanation, but thank you. Um, yeah. Is she actually time. Is she actually going to do her makeup and talk to us while she does it? Like a true get ready with me? No sped up music, nothing? Nothing for me to dance to today? Don't trust the weather channel because the other day it was supposed to storm like hardcore and I was like so excited um because I'm a pluviophile. Uh, yes of course and you I are. I was so pumped. I was like yes bring on the rain. I'm so excited. Uh -huh. I keep saying excited. I don't know vocabulary. I was so pumped. It didn't it didn't storm. Okay. Not at all. And then all right. It said it wasn't even supposed to rain today and it's out there raining. I love that it's raining. I just hate that the weather people get it so wrong. I know. Bestie, it's, it's, it's them making their best hypothesis, Bestie. Their best hypothesis. What kind, what kind of day is being ruined for you? You're gonna mostly be inside anyways. Like, chill out. But they're not perfect. They're not robots. Right. But, uh. Right. Don't you have to go to school to be a weather person? I don't know. And and you didn't. So chill the fuck out. You went for how long for criminal justice? <laughs> like, calm down. Not you. Not you being so judgmental. Oh my gosh, I'm being judgmental though. So we're kind of the same like that, Amberlynn. I love that for us. I'm complaining about something that doesn't even matter. Truly. Um, we agree. So yeah. We yeah, agree. I'm do my makeup just real quick. Oh, I wanted to update you guys. I have finished this book, Ghoster uh, by Jason the, Arnup. The book updates about books I've never heard of nor care about. I could care the fuck less. I swear to God. And she's always like, spoiler alert, just fast forward a little bit. Just fast forward a little bit if you don't want the spoiler. Girl, no, put some time stamps. Give me a time stamp for what I can skip to. It's not that hard. Trust me, I learned. I got the feedback from people. They said, Zach, we don't like your intros. Give us a timestamp. And look at this video. Look at these timestamps. So, spoiler alerts. Um, Skip ad. I, it was, it was good. Like the first, I would say like, this much. The, More than half of it. The, the first this much opens to random page. Girl, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I was like, okay, this is intriguing because it's like this girl, it was a lot of like narration like in her head of like, where's my boyfriend? Why am I seeing ghosts? Why did he disappear? We're so skipping ahead. We're she skipping ahead. I'm skipping ahead. And, um, so she just did the worst job describing anything that happens in that book and said, I didn't really enjoy it, but would I recommend it? Sure, I guess. It made absolutely no the fuck sense. We're about to come in hot with another spoil alert for a different book. Just a warning. Another fucking book? <laughs> You're giving me another book to sit here and listen about that I don't care about? It was, it was different. Now, I'm reading this. I do like Christopher Pike. We ain't gotta, you know, make fun of me about it, okay? This I is don't called know Whisper what that is. Death. So, 
Um, yeah, I'm gonna do my makeup. I am gonna weigh myself for y'all. Okay, the second book review, a little bit better, but it's basically just her telling what happened, not giving any, like, formative substance on, like, if it is a good book and what makes it a good book or not, just that, like, here's the plot and I'm gonna get through this book real quick, okay? What exactly are we supposed to be taking from these these book reports, Amberlynn? I did book reports in eighth grade. <laughs> I'm an adult now. I'm I'm not here for that from you. You're you're not the one I want to hear about good books from. You're not. Um, show you guys that, and then whatever I plan on eating throughout the day, I will show you. I'm pretty sure we're staying the night tonight. So okay, um, stay the night with Eric and Ricky. Just like photos of what I'm eating. Um, I'm going to try to remember to bring my scale so I can weigh myself at my friend's house. So hopefully I remember that. I have a list of things I need to bring so I don't forget. I can't. Because I still want to do this for I, you guys. I appreciate that she's doing this challenge that nobody asked for, but I can't imagine taking... Actually, there were times that I did... I just used Noel's scale back when I did 100 days of weighing in because she, she failed and I succeeded. Uh, back when I did 100 Days of Weighing In, I did use null scale, but I can't imagine taking in my big old uh, scale all the way to a friend's house just for a YouTube challenge that nobody cares about, but more power to you. I'm glad you're committed. I'm glad you're really committing this time. So anyways, um, yeah. Oh, and BT dubs, I'm only at 813 steps today, and my okay. goal is 5,500. I don't know if I will be reaching that, but... Well, let's get we'll to, see. let's get to. Okay, you guys, update. Done with my... You could have you been getting those steps in while you're sitting here talking to me about these books I don't give a shit about. I did weigh myself. I was 492.8, so that means from yesterday I'm down 1.4. I'm very happy to Work. hear that. Um, I have locked my calories for my next meal in my my pal. I am having Chick-fil-A. So I got a Diet Coke. Okay, listen. Zero calories. Listen, 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 Linda. I know every time I bring this up, all, all the things you're ever going to say. I just personally, as, as an LGBTQIA person, okay, as a queer person, as a gay person, there are just, like, better chicken sandwiches. And I know every single time I bring this up, people are like, but Zach, they, they don't do that anymore. No, y'all, this happens literally every time it comes in the news that Chick-fil-A is donating to anti-LGBTQIA orgs. They always follow it up a, a week later saying, oh, we stopped that. And then it always comes out again that they're still doing it. Like, at this point, there are better chicken sandwiches. There are better, there's better chicken. There's better chicken. Okay, like, let's just leave it at that. <laughs> like, and I also understand that, like, you know, there's there's no uh, ethical consumption under capitalism and that every single company everywhere, whoever, whatever, probably has some kind of dealings that we don't, don't like, don't care about. That's fine. I get that. Right now we're talking about Chick-fil-A, which historically doesn't like LGBTQIA people, and so I'm not going to eat there. If if Amberlynn wants to, I guess whatever, you know, Amber, Amberlynn's $10 chicken sandwich, whatever she she's going to show she's eating, probably a drop in the bucket, but I'm just saying, I'm just saying, consider other chicken places. There are other chicken options. There sure are. There sure are. That's all. That's all for me. Happy Pride, gays. I got an eight piece of their nugget, which is 270 calories. Oh, the nuggets. A medium. The nuggets. Um, mac and cheese. And the mac and cheese. So you can, and you can get better nuggets and mac and cheese. I swear to God, you sure can. I've had them other places much better. 450 calories. So this meal is 720. If I decide to use a honey mustard, I didn't look up how many calories that would be. So I guess we could just like do that together. Um, oh, gosh, I don't I don't know that I need to see you looking it up. Late. You know what? Th this girl, she literally just posted a community tab post the other day that's like, I've heard you and videos will be much longer than eight minutes now. And I'm just like, first of all, you asked us what our thoughts were about that, like literally a month or two ago at this point. 
but also like if it's all if all it is is like filler of us just shit staring at you looking up how much the chick-fil-a honey mustard sauce has in calories then i'm good bestie i'm good so yeah this meal is 765 calories kind of high but that's okay um i feel like majority of the day is like getting ready packing for the weekend and then like driving because it takes a couple hours to get okay but are you gonna log are you gonna log your car snacks your road trip snacks my friend's house so i'm gonna be distracted so i'm sure the next time i eat maybe a snack in the car or um just later tonight and i'll have to take like a photo okay i'm rambling i'm gonna eat now Okay, let's do a, like a little bite together. Let's do a little taste test moment. Baby. Hey, baby. Good. Baby, baby, how's your Chick-fil-A? Baby, how's your honey mustard? Your chicken nuggets? Hey, baby. She got the same thing as me besides uh, her sauce is... Rant. A honey sriracha. Oh, I want it to be rant. Sweet and spicy sriracha. Oh, sweet and spicy sriracha. I really wanted and to then be right. And got um, a small instead of a medium. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. You know what I was thinking, though, the other day what? when I was having Chick-fil-A? Because this is something I've been having a lot of. Just not the honey mustard. What? I usually get grilled nuggets, I'm not going to lie. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to be rebellious. Um, I, I was thinking... Who are you rebelling against except yourself, bestie? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you rebelling against except yourself? I also just always find it so interesting when she's like, I've been having a lot of this lately. Like, I don't, I just like don't understand that concept, that lifestyle of like eating out that much. Like, like even if you can, I just like, like the taste of home cooked food. Like sometimes I remember when we went to LA, uh, like a month ago, the beginning of beginning of May, middle of May, whenever we went to LA, we obviously ate out a lot because we were in a whole different state and city. <laughs> and we had a lot of good food, but there was just something about coming home and also like being able to cook your own food from like ingredients that you bought on your own that just like really makes a difference. I just don't understand how you could be like, I've just been eating so much Chick-fil-A lately. Like, it seems like Chick-fil-A should low-key have uh, mashed potatoes. Doesn't it seem like they would? I, I don't know, oh, I bestie. Don't I don't eat a Chick-fil-A! Oh, oh, you've had it? That's 10 out of 10. Oh, well, so good. <laughs> Babe, it's What's so good. That one? Yeah. The Sriracha. Wait, you guys, this is so good. So good? Okay, I think I found a winner when it comes to sauces, because usually I like my stuff dry, but sometimes it's nice to, like, dip a little something. This is bomb. Yum. Okay, so we. I. Let's just keep going. Sorry. Let Let me not say anything and just keep watching this. We're getting ready to leave, but I want to show you guys what came in the mail. What is because that? Because you guys have been seeing that Twinkie loves car rides. <gasps> is she getting a car harness or something for Twinkie store? After all this time, after all this time, we're getting her a harness or something. And I had no idea which you guys told me, so thank you. There's dog seat belts. Oh my God, did you, speaking of dogs, speaking of what is this light coming in through the curtain right here? Too much happening right now, a sensory overload. Thank you for telling me. So this is a two pack of dog seat belts with a harness. And it's like stretchy enough so she can still lay down in her bed. Uh -huh. So she's nice and comfy. So I'm hoping it's comfortable on her. I just want her to be comfortable. I just want to say also though, like this is how I know the timelines aren't caught up because the first time that she ever showed that Twinkie in the bed in the back of the car was so long ago. <laughs> and she's just now responding to feedback from people about Twinkie needing to be like harnessed and stuff in the back. Wild. Does come first. So we're gonna hook her up to that. 
hook her up. I can't help it. We're gonna put her in that, and then we're gonna head out. I was using this purse. Steve that's it. it. Oh, I thought that said semen on it. Mm -hmm. But I switched to this one. Both ugly. Like anyone cares. <laughs> also, we sure don't. I, I thought they were both tacky. Personal taste, just my personal taste. Funsies of it. I chose my next book after this one because who knows? I think I'm gonna be reading that on the car ride. Okay. The next one I'm gonna be reading is The Thousandth Floor by Katherine McGee. I'm, I'm excited I'm to see how it goes. I haven't read the back yet, but from my remembrance, it's about like all from, these people. From my remembrance, that's one of my favorite like words that people use when they're trying to, when they mean another word, from your memory. Memory is the word we're looking for here. I understood what you said though, so it's fine. People who live on the skyscraper, the richer you are, the higher you are, and like the poorer you are, the lower you are. Oh. I don't know. We'll oh, that sounds those. a little dystopian. So, I might like that. Twinkie's in her seatbelt. It's attached to the uh, is that head of the seat? Is that how that's supposed to she's work? She's very upset about it because usually she's laying in her bed all comfy and cute. Is that? But I will give you guys another update. Is that how that's supposed to work? That doesn't feel any more secure than her just laying down in the bed, honestly. But I, why do I know? Okay, so one more update. She's being pitiful. We just tightened it a little bit because we don't want her like, you know, if we do gun a wreck knock on wood her flinging everywhere well right but that's why i'm like be choking oh well she's not gonna be choking because you have it attached to her harness that doesn't even go around her neck how would she be choking she she doesn't even have a collar around her neck to be choked is she about to go to her spot twinkies your spot is where you uses. It's where he uses. Oh, there we go. Oh, Twinkie is a cute little him. dog. You can still be comfy. She sure is. And now you're safe and protected. Say thank you, subscribers. Thank you, viewers. Oh, she's mad though. See, she has a little bit of an attitude going on. Okay, so I got a road trip snacks. We got road trip snacks. Come on, beef jerky and a car blanket. The car blanket is there too. It's all my favorite Amberlynn Reed of the car things. Yes, yes. Snack for the ride, some beef jerky. Yes. And for Ooh. the whole bag is 280 calories. Oh my God, are you eating the whole so bag? So I'm probably gonna eat it all and Beef jerky is so expensive for it to be your go-to car ride snack, but get off, go off, <laughs> I said get off, get off to that beef jerky, girl. I got a oh, Diet I do, Dr. Pepper. I do love a Diet Dr. Pepper. With the little Jurassic World. Oh my God. I'm so excited. I still haven't seen the movie, um, but I'm definitely going to soon. Okay. I can tell you that. Okay, so we just stopped to pick up dinner. Wait, where were where were wifey snacks? Where were wifey snacks? I'm gonna post the photos here of what I had. I ordered a taco, a tamale, and it came with rice and beans. It was like a little combination uh -huh. meal. Okay. So I'm not sure how many calories, I'm not sure what it looks like. I mean, because <laughs> all that cheese and that ground meat is probably a lot of calories, but it does look good. I would eat it. We're picking it up currently. We're waiting in the parking lot for the order. Oh, come on, again. taco? So That's a sad looking I'll taco. Also flash a photo of like how many calories it came out to and all of that. Hello. So, this is how much I actually had left over. Uh huh. I didn't eat. That taco and, looked pitiful. And here are the calories. Came out to 345. I. Um, and now that I like look back. Y you. I. I. There was, wait, let me go back. Cause she's saying she ate a half a cup of rice, 30 grams of queso, and less than a quarter of a cup of refried beans. Where was that picture? I mean, maybe on the beans, true. Maybe on the beans. And where, she didn't count anything about the tamale or the taco or the meat. And also, there's almost no, 
There's almost no rice there left whatsoever. Listen, I don't care what she eats or how she counts it, but like, it's just not true. You, you ate like, it looks like there's no rice left and you're saying all you had was half a cup? That was at least a cup of rice on your plate to begin with. I am just saying. And I find it hard to believe that there are, like, where's, like, why aren't you counting the tamale, the meat, the, all the other stuff? Um, I think I underestimated. Absolutely. Which I usually overestimate on calories, like, just in case. Oh, there it is. But oh, sweet. there it is. Tortilla, you had two tortilla chips? Girl, I don't know that anybody goes to a Mexican restaurant and only eats two tortilla chips. I don't know about that. And the tamale? You think it's only 57 calories? A third of a tamale? I I don't know about all of this, bestie. Maybe it would have been best to just write it off. Because <laughs> I'm not buying what you're selling. I underestimated a little bit, so my bad. Um, and I ended up not really liking the taco, so I barely even touched that. I feel like it would have been better to just be like, hey, I fully am aware that, like, whatever I ate here, like, I don't have any way to accurately know <laughs> what the calories are and not embarrass yourself by putting up whatever this is. You think what you ate at that meal was only 300 and, what was it, 345 calories? Altogether, that's what it says right here. 345 calories. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not buying it, bestie. So we're finally pretty much almost at my friend's house. Um, the car ride has seemed longer than usual. I don't know what it is. I just feel kind of like restless sitting in here right now. I did read a little bit. I am now officially halfway through. I was okay. expecting to read a little bit more, but... I don't know. I was kind of just enjoying the car ride, listening to some music and stuff okay. like that. Okay, so... And you had... <laughs> Listen, this this is, you know what? This is why I do enjoy an Everlyn read what I eat today. All y'all that are going to be like, Zach, she lies about everything she eats. I don't think so. This feels pretty honest to me at work. You want your chicken nuggets, eat your chicken nuggets at this point. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? I ended up ordering a 20-piece nuggets. It was 940 calories. This was like... About is that with or without the skin, though? Because y'all know she likes to take the skin off. She likes to eat just the skin. Or maybe she likes to eat it without the skin. I can't remember. Midnight. We were all hungry. So we got something to eat. And we got McDonald's. I normally order, like, large fry with it and McFlurry and, like, uh -huh. all this other stuff. Sometimes even a donut for McDonald's, but I didn't do it. Being able to say no to those things... It kind of felt powerful. Good. Um, good for you. Yeah, we just need Say to work no. on saying no to the nuggets if I don't have the calories. You know what I'm saying? So, I also had two times. Well, it's also not even about the calories. It's just like, were you actually hungry, you know? Like, you you just had all that Mexican food. Like, that's, that's the questions you really, like, for me, I guess is what I will say, because I don't want to apply my story to her hers. But what has been helpful for me sometimes when I'm, like, struggling to decide if, like, I want to eat something or need to eat something is, like... Am I doing this because I'm actually hungry? Or, like, in this case, it would be like, uh, maybe I would say yes to something and acknowledge that, like, I'm eating this because all my friends that I'm with are eating this, and I, like, want to be a part of the crowd, you know? <laughs> Whatever it might be, but, like, I don't know. It, it's hard to say how many calories you did or didn't have because you full-on didn't even count that last meal correctly, if we're being honest, so... You know, it is what it is. But look at this screen right now. Two Diet Cokes and a heart. If that ain't my heart right now, if you opened me up, if you opened up my chest and dissected my heart, you know what would be inside of it? The words, two Diet Cokes. That's me. Folks, um, throughout the day that I forgot to mention, so I wanted to let you know... So, reminder, I did weigh in at 492.8 uh -huh. this morning. Steps were pretty bad. I only took 3,177. Okay. Because I was in the car majority of the time. And then once I got to my friends, we just chilled out. 
In calories, I ate 2,330, which is actually really good. Um, I'm going to take it, you know. Well, again, we don't really know what <laughs> what the food at the Mexican restaurant were, but listen, put, put a win. Put a win on the scoreboard. Friday, normally I eat like 4,000, 5,000 calories, and I didn't. I stayed around my goal, and I'm happy about that. So I hope that you guys have been enjoying this content. I have been enjoying making it. Thank you for watching day two. And I will see you guys tomorrow for day three. All right. Bye. Listen, day two had everything. It had road trip snacks. It had a car blanket. It lacked scratch art. It lacked a toured haul. It had interesting food choices. I'm, listen, I'm, I'm going to count that as a win today. I can't wait to see what day three looks like. Honestly, besties, like bring on day three. I'm ready, Amberlynn. Anyways, I think that's all I have. I think that's it. I think that's all there is to it. Um, I hope y'all didn't miss me too much while I was gone and resting, and I'm happy to be back. So if this is your first time on my channel, make sure to hit the bell button and subscribe down below. Uh, also, leave me a comment, hit like, click share, follow me on all of my social media, which also includes a gaming channel and a Twitch channel. Come check me out on both of those platforms and have a great day. Bye!